Uh, one of the key things for us was to maintain that core benefit of our ray tracing. So the level four functionality is something that we've definitely maintained. And it's very critical at bringing the ray tracing to lower end devices. Uh, if we look at level two or level three solutions, they have an amount of ray acceleration, but they leave a lot of things that you need to do in compute on the shader pipelines. And if you're depending on the shader cores to do part of your ray processing, it means you need a much bigger GPU for it all to make sense. So if you go much more to a mid-range device, you're going to consume half of that device compute power just to support the ray tracing. And then your balance skews, right? You can't make that work. You can maybe do a very simple benchmark and show a reasonable amount of ray tracing, but you would have no shader cycles left to actually run your game and, and create an interesting environment.